Well, hello, hello. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have the honor of bringing you today's word for the day. Today's passage is out of Psalm 68, and it's for those who need to be reminded that God is good to his people. It's a psalm that goes through historical battles and hard times the Israelite people faced, and their reliance on the Lord is what pulled them through. Let's read the beginning of it. Psalm 68, verses 3 through 10 says this, But let the godly rejoice. Let them be glad in God's presence. Let them be filled with joy. Sing praises to God and to his name. Sing loud praises to him who rides the cloud. His name is the Lord. Rejoice in his presence. Father to the fatherless, defender of the widows, this is God whose dwelling is holy. God places the lonely in families. He sets the prisoners free and gives them joy, but he makes the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. Verse 7, O God, when you led your people out from Egypt... When you marched through the dry wasteland, the earth trembled and the heavens poured down rain. Before you, the God of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel, you sent abundant rain, O God, to refresh the weary land. And there your people finally settled. And with a bountiful harvest, O God, you provided for your needy people. The cool thing is that God sees us, his people, and constant struggle and constant battle and in constant need. And he doesn't stay up in heaven and let us deal with life down here alone. No, David is praising God in Psalm 68 because he comes down from his heavenly place and countless times he saves his people. He fought for the Israelites. He leads them through the wastelands and deserts. He provided for them in every single moment. And the cool thing is, is the same is true today. Those who have given their life to Christ and who believe in the heart that he has died for their sins, we are his people. Just like Psalm 68 points out, God came down from heaven in the form of a baby, Jesus Christ. And he went to that cross to fight your battles, to free you from the shackles of sin, to provide for his people. And the God of the Old Testament is the same as the God of the New Testament. Let me know if this sounds familiar. Verses 17 through 19 says this, Surrounded by unnumbered thousands of chariots, the Lord came from Mount Sinai into his sanctuary, just like Jesus came down to earth. And when you ascended to the heights, just like Jesus ascended after his resurrection, it says, You led a crowd of captives. You received gifts from the people, even, even from those who rebelled against you. Now the Lord will live among us there. See, Jesus has led us all out of captivity, even those who rebelled against him. And he lives among us there. Jesus is on the throne and his Holy Spirit is within us doing what God does for his people. And check out verse 19. Praise the Lord. Praise God our Savior for each day he carries us in his arms. And that's what he does for us. So my question to you is what battles are you facing today? What struggles? What wastelands are you going through? What hardships? What needs do you have today? Cry out to the Lord in prayer and he still provides. He still fights for us. He still guides us through. And if you've never given your life to Jesus and you have struggle after struggle without hope or victory, give your life to him. He is faithful. He is a promise keeper. He is all powerful and awesome. And he loves you enough to die for you and take away your sins. If you're a believer who is struggling, may I remind you of God's awesomeness, of his power and of his love for you, that he is good to his people and he has already died for you. He has won every victory on your path to eternity. Don't forget to cry out to our Lord. He'll never grow tired of saving us and guiding us and providing for us. He's done it since the beginning of time. Thanks for tuning in, Calvary. I love you a lot, and God loves you more. We'll see you tomorrow.